Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Now, a few weeks back, I received a comment on one of my videos. And this comment asked if I'd ever tried cleaning rocks with an ultrasonic cleaner. And that got me thinking, what would happen if I did get an ultrasonic cleaner and tried to clean some of my rocks? Now, I figured we could use this in two different ways. One, to clean dirt off of rocks, and two, to clean off any of the grit or polish remaining on rocks when we're tumbling them. So I decided to buy an ultrasonic cleaner and dry it out. So let's see what happens when we add rocks to an ultrasonic cleaner. If you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week, so let's get started. So I do have a bunch of rocks here that need to be cleaned. I'm gonna go through and pick out some of them that we can put in our ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, here is a really cool crystal-y looking one that I think could really use a good cleaning, so we'll do this one. Maybe we'll do a couple that like aren't super in need of cleaning. Ooh, this one really needs cleaning. It is super dirty. It looks like I didn't even clean this off at all before I took it home. So we'll do that one. Um, Let's try this guy here. And maybe just a few others. I think this is a really good contender. This is a druzy something. It kind of looks like maybe it was part of a geode. So let's try that one. And we'll do this one too for good measure. So as you can see, they are very dirty and in need of cleaning. So this first batch that I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use just water and see how that works in cleaning our rocks. Then if it doesn't work very well, maybe I'll do a half vinegar, half water, and see if that helps the cleaning process. So you're supposed to add at least two thirds full in this container. So that's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it about two thirds full, or maybe even more, we'll just do that much and now all we have to do is add the rocks and turn it on okay so i have added all of the rocks to the water when i put this one in it kind of uh, exploded with dirt all over <laughs> and i haven't even turned on the cleaner yet so that one is super dirty we're gonna wait for that to kind of settle because i want to see what ends up happening to the other rocks when we do turn it on because when you turn on ultrasonic cleaners it looks really really cool and you'll see why now i just turned the switch on but i haven't turned it on yet but as you can see it's set to about 15 minutes so we're gonna let them kind of ultrasonically clean themselves for 15 minutes you can also do a heat setting here but i don't think we really need heat so we're just gonna do the water and let's see what happens so i'm not sure if you can hear that humming um but it is pretty, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird hum. But you can see, kind of already starting to bubble up. It's really like in that super dirty rock. Now I'm gonna let this go for about, like I said, 15 minutes, and we're gonna come back and see if our rocks have been beautifully cleaned by the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, it has been about 15 minutes. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's take out this basket and we'll see if the rocks look any cleaner. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see that they are wet. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, it does look like some dirt has come off. I think I'm gonna rinse them off a little bit and see if we can see anything better. Okay, so here is what they look like with just rinsing them off. Now, I think maybe they look a little bit cleaner. I mean, this one definitely looks like a way cleaner, <laughs> but I wonder if they would have looked this clean, we'll say, um, if I would have just soaked them. So what I think I'm gonna try is taking these same rocks, we're gonna dump this out, fill it with half water, half vinegar, and see if that makes any difference. Okay, so I just filled this up again with half water, half vinegar. Let's add our rocks. All right, let's turn it on and see what happens. That's interesting that that one kind of just sprayed out a bunch of dirt. Okay, so we are done. Let's go ahead and take a look at our rocks and see if they look any cleaner this time around. As you can see, the water looks super dirty still, so there was definitely a lot of dirt still remaining on the rocks. So here's that first one, and I honestly think this one looks really, really good. Like, you cannot see any dirt on this thing. This little guy is next, and again, I don't see, like, any remaining dirt on here. 
Now this one you can definitely still see that brown dirt remaining in the druzy quartz. It does look cleaner, but it definitely did not get it perfectly clean or spotless in any way. Um, I wonder if I go at this with a toothbrush for a little bit, if I can get some of that dirt out, if it's been maybe loosened by the ultrasonic cleaner, but not necessarily completely removed. Here's our next one, and again, there is very little remaining dirt, maybe some right there, but very little remaining dirt, I would say, on this rock. Here's our next one, and again, not seeing much dirt. And here is the last one. I'm not 100% sure if this stuff right here is dirt or if it's just part of the rock, but again, looking really good actually. Okay, so I did just take a brush to this rock here, and honestly, not a whole lot more dirt came off. Here's the water that I was using, so this was clear before I started um, brushing it in the water. So I mean, there definitely is still dirt remaining on this one, but the other ones didn't look too bad to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna use the same solution and do just a few more rocks from our bin here just to see if we can get similar results. So we'll do another Druzy Quartz. We'll do this one here that's got a bit more of, we'd say, caked on dirt than really surface level dirt. This one, again, with lots of little cracks and caked on dirt. We'll do this one, which has more surface level dirt. This one again, with more kind of surface level dirt, but with lots of little cracks. And this one here that has both surface level and kind of caked on dirt. So let's put our basket back in, and I'm gonna use this same water because I don't have any more vinegar left. I think it should be fine, it's not super dirty. We'll just put these bad, ooh, look how cool that one looks. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, let's put that one in. And we'll get all of these in here. Do another 15 minutes and see our results. Here we go. Ooh, you can already see it working. Ooh, look at that, that's so cool. Okay, so here these ones are all cleaned up. And this one actually looks a lot better than the first one that we did. With our Druzy Quartz, you actually can see more of the Druzy Quartz instead of the dirt. Here is this one. This one did okay. You can still see some caked on dirt though, I would say. Here is this one, which I think turned out really good. Here is this one, which I also think did a decent job. This one still has some caked on dirt, but it did turn out pretty good. And this last one. So I also did let these dry out because I figured you'd want to see what they look like dry and not just wet because they do always look very different when they are wet. And then here are our originals to when they are dry. So overall, I honestly think it did a pretty decent job of cleaning all of our rocks. And here's that last one. Now, do I think it was perfect? No, probably not, but is it worth doing it again? Maybe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!